Hello, Geminis. Thank you so much for joining me. This is going to be your reading, and I am guided to specifically say this is a message your person wants you to know. Whereas with the other readings, it was kind of more of a, I want to tell you something. This is something your person wants you to know, possibly because you are forgetting this or not knowing this deep within right now. So this person wants to tell you. Um, some of you may be in the Nine of Swords energy just wondering. I'm hearing recklessly wondering. So for me, that means that you're allowing your thoughts to go um, to negative places, okay? And as you know, we get what we think of. So let's begin the reading. Thank you to everyone who is returning. Hello, hello. And thank you to all my new viewers. Let's see what's going on, Gems. Wow, the Ten of Cups. Okay. So this is something your person wants you to know. And I'm actually getting this message that I am working my way to my happy place. But I do feel with the natural energy of the Ten of Cups, not what is being shown just yet, and the devil card here, I feel that your person has been working on breaking out of some sort of a situation, possibly with a Capricorn, possibly involving money. Um, someone here may even be a water sign, but it looks like right now and the tower underneath the devil with the moon card. It's a very strong message here. I'm seeing some sort of a big issue right now. And maybe they're not telling you, and this is why they wanted to um, send you this message. I am also seeing the Six of Cups in reverse. So this could be a long-term relationship that has gone wrong. I, I don't know if that's the right way to put it, but, you know, taking a turn to the left, I guess we could say. Um, this can be them wanting to return to you, but not being able to return to you at this time. But for sure, there is something that they want you to know, which is they are working on getting back to their happiness. They have a lot of love for you, but they are right now dealing with another situation um, that has had to, has to close out, is what I heard. Has to close out this other situation. So some of you will know what that means. I'm just going to pull one more card here. Well, very interesting. Um, I am seeing... The King of Fire and the Empress. So this to me right now is saying that this person may have been married, you know, because we have the Empress energy, we have the King. I just feel like kings and queens are often married where the Empress may be um, very high powered, but not married, you know, on this Empress, this King of Fire. Um that's what I have for you just now. I'm seeing the, yeah, the emperor energy wanted to come out. Just let you know, you know, this person may be working on leaving a marriage, the eight of swords here in the high priestess, but you may not know this for some reason, this person may not be telling you. Okay. So let's move on. Gemini's that is something that your person wants you to know. We are going to use about six different decks after this final um, message. Okay, here we go. Look at that. Religion and finances and career, family issues on the bottom. So this is what this person is dealing with right now. Um, let's see if we can get an actual love message for you. Letting go of control issues. No, this person is very, yes, they, they desire you. But this person is very serious right now. And they want you to know they are um, ending some sort of a family situation by the looks of it. I mean... It was the ten of pentacles or ten of cups and the, the devil. You know, I'm not I'm not making it up. That's an ending of a family situation someone was tied to, or ending of ending a career, something that they had obligations, okay, and responsibilities. And I mean, they're working on getting happy again. I want this to happen fast. However, divine order is at play. So let's get into the messages, Gemini. Coming in strong. I want this to happen fast. However, divine order is at play. Yeah, you don't, you can't, you can't play with divine order. So I feel like maybe you haven't touched this person for a while. And this is why they want you to know this. Um, but this person misses your touch a lot. That's what I'm hearing. A lot. 
I want to know everything about you. For some of you, you've had so much time away from this person or just so much has changed. They just want like a refresher course is what I hear in your life, in your activities, in your energy, in how you're handling what's going on in the world. Um, because you are the world to this person. I want this to happen fast. However, divine order is at play. What is your person dealing with? Holy uh, joy. Lighten up. Find that hidden inner child and have a play date. Laugh. Be silly. Dance and sing. It's time to have fun. I feel that right now your person has to lighten up, actually. To be honest with you, I'm seeing the responsibility card. And this is about people that do not take responsibility for themselves and they depend on um, another. Right now, also, this person may be putting on a mask as well, pretending that everything's okay, um, but really stressing about these people that they're taking care of um, that seem to not want to take care of themselves, okay? So what else we can get here is this person... Maybe just, I really get this energy, like they're just pretending, even the interference card, exhaustion, um, you know, they decks here. I miss your touch. It's time to challenge the situation and say, this is not good enough. Stand tall and take a stand. It's time, it's time to show the world just how damn tough you are, um, this person, you know, they just want to be with you. They want to be assured that you are going to be there um, when they come to you. This person is almost, I'm getting like that, that blood is boiling energy. It's like time to explode. I feel like if we pulled a card right now, we might get, uh, well, we already had that tower energy there. Like they're just ready to explode. So we have the exhaustion card coming out. I like this card for a couple reasons. So this says, long and challenging as this journey is, it is worth the struggle. The results are long-term and worth every sacrifice made along the way. I feel like not only have you had past life with this person, if you think you don't know the person, fine, like this is a past life love energy, but I feel like you and this person have actually recently or, or in this lifetime, I should say, have gone through quite the struggles. So that's why divine order is at play already in this situation. Like there's some sort of space between you. This is why this person really wants you to know like they're finding their happiness. I feel like this person is an optimistic person in general. Um, but this person is working on closing a cycle and coming towards you. Okay, so let's see what else we're going to get here for these messages for Gemini. Let's see. The time is now. So there really is this energy where this person wants to rush things, but they're very aware, like there's something else in, at play here. Um, this person may just be trying to be positive, like it's going to happen soon. I miss your touch. I have regrets. What this person regrets is not, I don't know if you ever had a chance to come together, but not taking that chance or not standing up for what they truly wanted, which was to be with you. Sometimes are sometimes you are too intense with your emotions, exhaustion. I want to know everything about you. Sometimes you are too intense with your emotions. But you know what? We're going to tell us a little more about this. Sometimes someone is too intense. You are too intense. So look at that. This is so beautiful, actually. You and this person probably have a very strong connection. This person, oh my gosh, for some, this, this message kind of turns around where you wanted to always know everything about them, or it's just turning around for a minute here. Um, for some of you, you really, really hung on knowing that, you know, this is going to happen, or this is your, your biggest wish. Um, and for some of them, their own emotions were too intense because this is double nine energy. They've been hanging on, waiting for this to happen. Um, it's become physically exhausting. And maybe the energy is going for both of you. So you're sharing this. 
But remember, it's worth every sacrifice made along the way. Very interesting. Okay, so, whoa. Let's get out of here. Yeah. This person wants to get out of the situation that they're dealing with, that they're waiting for this divine order. I mean, I kind of want to get a little clarification on that divine order energy. Um, what is that about? Well, this person definitely wants to come back and speak to you. Oh, but look at, okay. Yes. Before this person can come and return, there is divine order at play, but look what's showing up here. The moon card and the eight of cups. So there's something that this person is waiting. Ooh, wow. It's like a closure. I saw the world, the wheel of fortune in the world. Um, they're waiting for something to happen naturally. I really feel an ending of something before they can come back. And that's what the divine order has to do with. Uh, this is exhausting because I feel like both of you are hanging on waiting for this. And maybe you just have to let it go for now, right? I need to apologize to you. This person really does have regrets. They m miss you. They wish they didn't walk away from you. This person wants you to know that they wish they didn't, they wish they stood tall and stood up for what they wanted, what which was you. Instead, there was some other stuff here. I feel like this person wants to get out of whatever this situation is like, and they want to get out of there now. It's getting worn out. So interesting. Okay. I love your style. <laughs> so back to the main topic here, this person I'm getting also, they think about you so much. It's getting exhausting. It's something about their own energy. This person may try to point the finger like you're exhausting me, but actually they're exhausting themselves. Um, this person, maybe some of you have had a little, a little bit of a glow up, uh, or some sort of a change in your life and you are looking extra stylish, possibly. I don't know. I'm just saying this person loves your style. They want to get to know everything about you all over again. So let's see what we have here. Don't mess up my cards. Okay. Cupid's arrow read about not showing you more love or standing up for it, you know, but this person says, you know, they have faith and they are coming. They may, there may even be a surprise, but for some reason right now, you know, the hesitation energy because divine order is at play. Okay. I need to apologize to you. This message. Oh, look at what's coming up for that. And I saw the boat. Um, this person may be watching you lightly stalking you is what I want to say, but this person wants to apologize to you about the separation. Um, I'm seeing the love call energy. This person wants to call you. Maybe this person is going to call you. I love your style. Twin flame. So this may be your twin flame. I feel like this person wasn't sure about you at one point because you were different. Um, so they kind of took a gamble and, and, you know, left. Something like, I don't know, that might just be a side message, but with the twin flame energy, like very special, you know, and let's not forget, where's our, oh, this beautiful, it's like, you know, ending one cycle to bring this twin flame energy together. I don't know, very special if you ask me. Okay, so let's get some love messages. Um, and then we will, if I remember, I'll get the angel question. I feel like it's not necessary. For some of you, this closing out will be in the month of October, right? We started with a 10. So definitely the separation can come to an end at that time. Um, even in, I'm hearing even in September, like there may be contact in September because they just can't hold back. Secret admirer, um, someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. You got double twin flame energy gems. That's pretty special. Wouldn't you say? I, I will tell you, that is absolutely rare on this channel. In fact, the Twin Flame card pretty much never comes out on my channel. So when it does, I do take it quite seriously. Um, this person, yeah, they're coming back, okay? 
If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. That's the problem. This person is overthinking too much, and that's where the exhaustion energy comes in. Um, this is your person, you know? It really is. So I don't think anything really else matters at that point. Let go, and that would make a lot of sense because letting go is the easiest, or I shouldn't say the easiest, um, is the best way strong message to, to pray as well, but um, is the best way to get this person back. It's when you actually let go, which so many people cannot do. Uh, finally, the person, the energy changes and this person comes back. Any Anyone who knows, knows. So we have sensuality, express your sensuality, go with the flow. That's just about enjoying life and letting go and relaxing. Gems, what a beautiful message. Thank you so much. If you want to book Book info below.